I wanted to throw together a quick beta install guide as it's not the most intuitive thing in the world to carry out, but also address the confusion on whether or not it's an early taster of the 3.0 algorithm on all wheelbases, including that of my R5. So where does the confusion stem from for me personally? Because it's likely some of you are in the same boat. Will from Boosted Media, closely affiliated with Moser, says in a recent video, testing with the 12 newton meter R12 wheelbase from Moser Racing. Now this new algorithm is available in beta form across the entire range of all of their wheelbases as far as I can tell. So you can jump on their Discord for instructions on how you can test this out for yourself. Then we've got a little bit of Reddit with some people under the same assumption. Then on the Moser Discord we've got the beta announcement channel mentioning wheelbase algorithm updates but no explicit mention of it being the 3.0. Posted a quick question on the beta testing chat for some clarity and among the RC admin replies was the conclusion that it's only in non-beta release form for the R9 and R12 right now. Now the Moser comms team could obviously do a lot better but the skeptical side of me still thinks there might be an early 3.0 algorithm baked into the beta but they're just not telling us, who knows. So despite all this, I still think it's well worth installing the latest beta updates and seeing what you think, because personally I don't think they're actually too bad. So that brings us on to the beta firmware install process. You want to actually add a code to that part in the top right that you see and hit confirm. It will then prompt you to run through the upgrade. This will update the pit house software first as a as a prerequisite for the firmware this is where the menus and the process flow of this aren't perfect this one's fine it's going to prompt you now to install the firmware you want to hit confirm but before that it prompts again for the software but it's trying to take you back to an earlier version of the pit house software which you don't want so I had a quick double check on discord and yep you want 1.2.7 and not to roll back anywhere so you go to the firmware manager and you can't find the latest firmware so how do you do it you go to the one click to upgrade all option which nothing tells you to do confirm that update and it'll run through it pretty quick even quicker because I've edited the video down again you're welcome so once that's all done go back and just make sure everything's cool which it should be all the pedals are good, all the calibrations are good we can get on with things So what's the verdict with all the before and after testing? It could just be all in my head, but my first impressions are actually quite positive. Um, coming out of the pits at Spa can be quite bumpy, quite sharp through the wheel. Um, this time with the new beta firmware, it feels a bit more refined, a bit more detail in there. I think there's a little bit more hint of wheel slip being communicated through the wheel. And just overall, it just feels a bit more refined. Um, could just be me. Please install, test it out and let me know what you think in the comments and again thanks for watching.